Who's ready? Who's been I ready? Guess. Who's been ready? That's a good question, Joe. That's right. Thank you for bringing that up. I try, guys. I Turn try to get her out here. Okay, we had a mishap. First of all, I dropped the eggs, but that's okay. But we had to pay four dollars and forty-five twenty-five cents at a gas station. I wanted to cancel the ambuligas because of the eggs. My God, I mean they're expensive right now um, at HEB in general. But then when I dropped them, my gut fell in my stomach, or whatever. My stomach fell out of my body. I was like, and the not only because of y'all too, but the uh, another reason was I had all that waiting that I was like. Oh my God, I can't cancel. So I was like, he's like, they're 445 or 430, whatever. Do you want me to buy them? And I was like, we need the eggs. If I don't put eggs in this freaking meatballs, they will fall apart in the water. So I did it. Don't make it. If you have to pay that much for your eggs, don't buy it. Sure. Don't make it. Make something else. There's sure. something else that's got to be cheaper. Thank you, baby. Let's get rolling. We're going to make the meatballs first because we got to start them first. Let me be um, a fair warning. I personally don't put chipotle. You'll know what I'm talking about. If any of the other people have had it, there's a recipes. Every, every Mexican home trip family has their own recipes of it. Okay. So I personally don't make mine with chipotles. My mom has never made it with chipotles. Some, some people make enough. it with. Yeah, I do. Thank you, baby. So. Joe's gonna fry him, but I gotta first give him something to fry. Hi, kid, you're having a bowl of I know you just put him up there. Yeah. Starting with beef, guys. Ground beef, ground chuck. <sighs> what are you having to my beef? Oh, what you did with it. Did I? Let me think, let me think, let me think. In there? No. Gotta find the meat. It's a, it's a big old package. Shut up. <laughs> did I put it in the freezer? You better not have. Oh my God, How? where could I have taken the meat? Is that it? It, are you kidding me? Hold on guys. Is that it down there? I don't think so. It's raw. It's beef. No, it's gotta be fresh. That's the one you had. Chicken, beef. You just put that in there. You just put that in there. It's in there. Oh my God. You don't have it. I do have it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. The hamburger meat is somewhere here, you guys. You sure that's not it? No, because it was just, I just threw it in there two minutes ago when I was, I was getting all my pans out. There, there you go. Did you find it? Yeah. Woo! Is it a big bag? Yeah. No, that's, oh yeah, that is my meat. Yeah, we found the meat. Sorry, guys. Holy smokes. I'm, it's a big bag, so I knew that it, oh my God. Why is it smoky? That's just what it is. Hi, guys. Oh my God. From the egg, oh shizzle. Yeah, no shit. Joe, <laughs> hi guys. You guys, my, more, my, my afternoon has been like this. I think because I try rushing and then I, I get caught up in it. Um, yeah, you guys, I don't know. Well, I dropped the eggs, and from the eggs, it just went downhill from there. Um, I have no excuse for it. I suck. Let's roll. Joe, you're making me nervous. What do you want me to do? Tell Joe to get back. I know. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's all my fault. Oh, it's, oh, no, they're saying thank you because you found it. What do you want me to do? Get your carne. God. Oh, cabron. I need. This is what I do. I open up my well of my beef so it can start being putting stuff on top. I gotta clean my hands. Um, I'm gonna put salt and pepper in my, oh, you know what I need, Daddy? I need some water in here so I can start the, um, yeah. Salt and pepper, if you wanna like go low sodium, do that. Um, I personally, I put salt. I'm gonna put garlic powder, onion powder. I'm gonna put my diced onion in here. I put onion powder and diced onion. You can do one, both. I just do it, okay? The reason I do both is because I think they add a different effect to my meat, okay? It's pretty much a meatball recipe, like if you're making meatballs. 
um, let's see, how do I explain it? Uh, I would, I'm not putting washer shirt and stuff like that because it's that's going a different direction. Some people put mint. Yes, you heard me right. Am I anti mint or cilantro? Our neighbor is allergic to cilantro, so I withheld the cilantro because I don't want to. We're going to give him some. Um, I have oregano, like powder oregano or flaky oregano. Um, and I have some chicken bouillon and a little tomato bouillon. That's why I don't put so much salt, you guys, because I do put a little bit of the bouillons in it. What the heck? It's just the, the pictures. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You guys. All right. My little grandson was playing the drums today, you guys. Cut it out. Here's my garlic powder and onion powder, okay? The measurements are on the, on the descriptions. Garlic powder, onion powder, and I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna put diced onion. If you don't like it, don't do it. I enjoy a good little dice of onion, okay? That's me. Me and Joe like onion in it. And then breadcrumbs. I put half of what I gave you guys. I think I put a half a cup. I put half of it. I'm going to put my eggs in first. I'll squish it around. Away from because they probably just dumped them in. Because you didn't say put half. It's okay. They can put all of them. They can do whatever they want. This, this is theirs. Well, they just don't know if they're doing it right. Let them say it in the questions versus Joe. Hey, okay, I'm just, no, no. I'm just trying to avoid some conflict here. Joe's the drama of the channel. Um, And if anybody is out there, I just want to tell my girl, Wispy, I love you. Wispy, you're my girl. If you know, you know. But I just want to tell Wispy that I love her. And she's, um, she's a bad bee. She makes Canada the bad bee that it is. I do appreciate her, though, you guys. She, um, she, uh, was a good friend and I appreciate, uh, some loyalty. Ooh, cut it out. That's right. Grab your phone and say hi to our friends. Hello, friends. I'm going to put rice in it. This is what it looks like before the rice. Okay. It's basically diced up onions and then your spices. I have never put anything like when I make my regular ones or when I make my meatloaf, I know I put oatmeal in it or I put crackers in it or breadcrumbs in it. I do different stuff in it. But for these, it's usually pretty basic. If you want the cilantro, go for it because it does add a flavor. I really like it, but I mean, I, I don't think he's saying he doesn't like it for like to be mean. He just said I can't have it. And I want to just be respectful of him. You know, I don't want to go, oh, sorry, buddy. Like, that's rude. I don't want to kill him either because I'll be, feel like shit for that. All just because I couldn't withhold my damn cilantro, you guys. <laughs> just kidding, guys. That's awful to say. Burke's never eaten a burger in her life? I know. I know. Burke is. Why? Is she a vegetarian? She is a vegetarian. Wow. She's a diehard vegetarian. How do you know you don't like it if you don't She's a vegetarian. It? She's not. Yeah. Well, she respects the animal. That's what she's saying. She doesn't like not like it. She just respects the life that it had. Uh -huh. Here's rice. I put long grain. You guys can put. Um, what I do is I look at it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I look at what my meat looks like. I think I put a quarter cup is what you're going to need. I'm only doing a pound, a little over a pound of meat because it's just me and Joe. I'm giving you a recipe that can be used for a pound and a half. Penny so. Winkle says she's making sloppy mitten papas for Hey, I love sloppy joes. Imagine green in here, and that's what the parsley, or I mean, that's what the cilantro would look like. Okay? Um, I do not like the taste of meat, unless it's bacon. <laughs> All right. I gotta take my potatoes off of here so I can use this. I'm gonna make some balls. I make them about golf size, but golf ball size. Okay. 
And I do mine a little different. I put mine a little char on them before they go in the bandeja with the water. Bandeja means pan. Word of the day, bandeja. Like, like a V, van bandeja. Like when my mom would tell me to get me a bandeja, she said, get me a pan. We knew what she meant. This is about the size I'm doing, guys. And you know, if you guys have a bunch of people coming, shield. Why not make them small little babies? Imagine three in a bowl versus just one or two. You know what I mean? You can have, they're a little bit different in size. It's, and you remember, they're gonna shrink a little bit. So do what you like in your bowl of soup. I mean, if we're making just a regular, maybe that might, I need more water than that. More? Yeah, it needs to almost be up to where the lay, the little screws are. Okay. And then if you are not fans of, like Joe's not a fan of squash or, or zucchini. So I'll probably put only half of my zucchini because I really enjoy it. It's all right that you made me feel like a failure. <laughs> I thought the... Uh, there you go. Right? I thought the, five, the five shadow would make you feel. <laughs> Is that good enough? Uh, a little bit more. Little it's bit. literally giving you little spots. It's like giving you 20 years of your age. Uh, I would do anything. Well, no, you do look good with a full beard. But I personally would do shave it. Me personally. I mean, don't do it for me. Do it for you. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. What I'm going to do is this is the part that's a little tricky. If you don't, I mean, I do it. I, I don't know what, what to tell you guys. Let me say it like that. Who the that. hell eats coconut cream snails? Oh my God. Liz Lee. Liz, no. Coconut cream snails. I love food in general, but she craves coconut cream snails on the regular. I don't know if I could eat those. My son eats oranges never, and never chocolate. snails. Uh, I'd, I'd be afraid to try it, but I will. No, yeah, you try about any food. I will try just about anything. I will not. I will not. There's a, one of my friends ate grasshoppers. She said you couldn't even tell. It just tasted crunchy like a chip. I beg to differ. I don't know if I could do that. Just knowing what it is. Like there was a tequila back in the days that I couldn't even drink that tequila because if I knew there was a worm floating in it, let alone, I know they say you're not supposed to care when you get to the bottom because you're so um, borracha y todo. Oh, yeah, Liz knows about H-Marts. No, how does she know about H-Marts? Yeah, yeah H-Mart has everything you could possibly want to find. H-Marts, if anybody's asking, is, um, I don't know what the H stands for, but they've got different stuff. I don't want to be disrespectful. Scary stuff. It's mostly Asian style foods and, and, and unique. Foods. It's unique yeah. things. Yeah, they have like a fish market. They have um, a lot of different like Asian ingredients that you've never heard of before. Yep. Never seen. And they have every brand of that particular like you. You, know, you could ingredient. be if you're looking for egg roll wrappers. That's the most normal thing you're going to find there is an egg roll wrapper. Yeah. You're just not going to find anything normal. See there. Yeah. You're going to find 15 different styles of egg wrappers. I'm going to wash my hands quick, guys. Wrappers. Sorry. Plus, now they have like a, they have like a, a, mark, a food market there where they make food there, too, don't they? Yeah. Like hot, a food court? Food. Yeah, like a food court. Mm hmm And then they have like... Uh, Ooh, that's... Like a game room type thing. Hot. Sorry, guys. All right, let's get rolling. We got our meatballs done. Um, if you guys put the uh, mint, it's going to have little green spots in it. I didn't do green. Uh, I didn't do mint or cilantro. It's just my meatballs with rice, basically. I didn't do like, um, I, I would have put Worcestershire. I would have done other things if it was my homemade meatballs. This is for my ambuliga soup, okay? So you want me to uh, brown them up? Yes. And that's going to go to the back. Okay. 
I'm doing it. I got it. I got, got it. it. <laughs> you got it. Santa Maria yeah, chingada. Okay. That's why you did it with the pan. What I'm... Oh, I'll let you put them in there. All right. I'm going to read what I have in here. This is my cabbage. This is the size I cut it. You guys don't have to cut it. You can put a whole leaf, a whole, like, a whole lettuce. I mean, a whole... The cabbage is rounded. You can either cut it in half. Go ahead. You can just start putting them in. Oh, I thought it was wait till it gets hot. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to think. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Just wait until it gets hot. Yeah, so that way they don't stick. Yeah. Wait for your pan to get hot when you're going to put your meatballs in because the meatballs, if you're putting any kind of meat, um, will get, they'll cook to it versus sear it. Does that make sense? Okay. This is my zucchini. I didn't use the Mexican one. I wanted to use the one that you guys would be able to be familiar with. It's literally a green zucchini versus a yellow zucchini. The Mexican zucchini is called a calabacita. It's about that short. And it's like a mint color green. I don't know how else to describe it. It's not a full length one. See it's multicolored too. It's like a different shades of greens, dots all over. Yep. This is zucchini. I'm gonna put my carrots in right now into my water that I'm gonna be doing later. Water, it's zucchini, it's celery and carrots. Can you guys see that over there? It's just basically like you're making a broth is what you're gonna be doing right now. Carrots, celery, um, I'm gonna put my, cause you're gonna to have to expect that these, pop, these um, meatballs are gonna get at least halfway done from being in this pan, okay? So when they go in there, they're not gonna, they're gonna not gonna need a good hour or nothing like that. They get browned, and from the browned, you'll see. And if you don't like carrots, you guys, I would make them big like what I did. My kids love vegetables, but when, make your carrot, like a whole carrot, cut it into big three pieces. And that way you can just take them out. Use it for the flavor of the broth versus going, oh, they don't like it. I'm not going to put it. Your husband's like, man, I like a good flavor, though. So you can still get the flavor without having to make them small. You know what I mean? I'm not a huge uh, vegetable. Yeah, I know. It's weird. I, I like it. Like, I like spinach. But when I'm eating, like, a soup like this, I like the papas. I like the meatballs. I like the corn. We cut our corn into four pieces. You want it somewhat to fit in a bowl of soup. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna fit. You can do it in halves. You can do however big you want. This is the size I did it. I cut my ear of corn into fourths. And they weren't the best. I was kind of frustrated, see? A little bit dried spot, but then you have the pretty one. You deal with it. I mean, it's not the best, but what do you know? You want the tongs? I want chingo. I want it to get that color. Okay? At least some of the balls. There you go. You do it with a fork, individual. Yeah. Do it from the bottom. Yep, like that. Use it like a spatula. Oh. All right, let me do roll call. I know Joe did it, but we both, I want to see my friend's faces. Um, this is going to be part of the sopa, like the soup part of it. Roma tomatoes. I thought I had three. Oh, yeah, there it is. I take the core out if you want to. You, do, you can, you don't have to. I have garlic and I have onion, okay? I'm, this is part of the soup that's going to flavor the water. This, uh, that's the best way to, to describe that. Um, hold on. Let me move Joe over there. I'm going to put those in water. You guys, our water's already warm. If anybody knows what it's like to live in the south, our water, we don't get cold water. Like when I give it to the girls, I have to give the girls ice in their water. I mean, I, it's not that it's hot. It's just that it's not cold.
And if you don't like cabbage, you guys, I I don't want to say you can make it without it because you absolutely can. But I would just say try it. Like, it, the flavor, the juice, the, it's not juice, it's soup. The soup gives the vegetables, like the papas, the, oh, just such a good flavor, flavor. You know what I mean? Like, part of, like, Joe, for one, used to say he don't like beans. He's like, yeah, I don't eat beans. I don't like beans. I don't think they taste good. I don't like, um cabbage i don't like honestly i've made so many things for him that he now likes it um i mean other than liver he won't eat liver and we're trying to get them brown once they're brown we're gonna stick them into that Bamboo! I love cabbage too. You know what, Betty? I like the center of the cabbage. Some people don't know what that means, but like the white part of it, when my mom and dad, we just were brought up with caldo. That was like what your guys used to have as right chicken, here? yes, chicken noodle soup. That we would eat caldo probably once a week. It's, we probably eat caldo way more than we ever ate menudo. Menudo is probably once a month. Caldo was probably twice or three times a week, uh, a month. And so my dad and my mom would cut the cabbage and then all of us would want the center, the white part of it. It just has like a, I don't know what to describe it as, a good flavor. I think asparagus tastes like it, don't you? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Stephanie, welcome, welcome. We're doing them. Um, Steph, I will do them, I promise. Yes, it's a soft peak. We're doing the, the, the egg whites have to come to a soft peak. We're, we're dividing the yellow with the white. And when the yolks, when we get the egg whites to a soft peak, we're gonna fold in our yolks into our egg whites. That, that's not for this. I'm just saying for somebody asked about it. Let's see. Ah, uh, Ben, Madison, Georgia Beach, Barclay, Jackie, Allie, welcome in. No town. Everybody welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, Bertie, for the welcome. Liz, RLR, Georgia Peak, Ellie, Milltown, thank you guys for being in here. Liz, Burger, <laughs> I know, I don't know, Liz, I don't know how Burke has made it, but she probably has like a, a freaking, what's that called, Coke bottle, or hourglass figure with her healthiness. Hey, CG, how you doing, love? I know, KCG, me and you, that's Whiskey's our girl. I love you guys. Betty Damn Boop, I've missed you. Floppy Mitten. <laughs> I named it that actually on one of my lives. It was called um, The Sloppiest hey. of Joes. Mm -hmm. I need a little lower. Mine? Yeah. I need this a little lower. Which no. one do you need lower? No, this, this pan, but it's okay. It's just because the pan's so hot. Oh, I'm and I'm going to be putting these in here in a minute, but that's okay. Oh, okay. I'll wait for it to cool let me, down. Yeah, let me finish these for a sec. Calm down, damn, bro. Hey, man, don't be touching my meatballs. I meat guess. Ball. I don't be to touching later. my balls when I'm working Joseph! Here. Oh, what? my God. I'm going to cancel the live because you're going to be talking dirty. Nobody wants your dirty ass balls, okay? Let me just say that. <laughs> I love food in general too. Mmm. It's just the foulest. The foulest, you guys. Nobody needs a disgusting little jokes, making us all regret tuning in. <laughs> what do you look at me for? I certainly didn't make them regret it. 
Um, I need to get now. I need water. I got some. You can use long grain, medium grain, or short grain. The difference is your rice. When you um when you're making rice in a pan, it's best to use long grain. When you're making it, um, like putting it in the ambulgas, it's it, any of them will work. They get they're done they're they're firm the the texture of your rice your rice grain is very very different. That's the best way I can describe it. But making Mexican rice on a stove, you definitely would like it to be long grain. See, I'm telling you, bad. I'm telling you. Oh my God, Allie, I'm dead. She said she's doing cooking dinner, and all she hears is Joe say that, <laughs> and she's like, "Good Lord." <laughs> bad medicine said, oh, no, "I'm kidding. done. I'm out of here." Bye, Felicia. Let's see. When I say that, Joe knows that I'm not messing around. When I say his full name. It's like, good times are over. Uh, he needs to stop because I'm about to gross out. Like, I don't get mad. I get more like, I'll give him a look like, oh my God, I'm so, uh, I'm so surprised that you would take it there. Like, I don't go, oh my God, how dare you? I'll just look at him like, oh my God, Joe, really? Like, I can make that all with the word Joseph. The word Joseph to him, he knows, ah, oh, shit. She's gonna let me have it when we get out of here. <laughs> All right. Because they're gonna cook the rest in here, y'all. No, they're not done by any means. By any means. But you still just wanna be a little gentle with them. You put, remember, if you do one and a half pounds, you have to use two eggs. If you do one pound, one egg. But always go on the side of uh, caution. I'm going to clean out some of this that's in there. Um, the reason being is because I'm going to use this pan. You're and soaking up some of the oil? Or? Yeah, some of the oil. Thank you, baby. Some of the oil I'm soaking up. I want to get the... Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one more. Because my this is going to be... This pan, with all, with all the extra burger oil is gonna be, I don't wanna scrape the bottom. I'm more absorbing, can you guys see? I'm absorbing the oil. I want all the brown that was on the meat to stay on the meat, or on the pan. Because I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use this pan for something. Okay, does that make sense to you guys? No, we're not gonna add flour and make gravy like we always do. <laughs> yeah, that's usually what we do. It's usually what we do. Okay. So, we oh, thank you, Daddy. Romas. Not everybody makes theirs like mine. Just be advised. This is how I make mine, okay? This is just how I make mine. I like the flavor. I like roasting it. Some people put chipotle because it adds a flavor to that, okay? But I want to show you guys... If you guys don't have a cheesecloth, ah, uh, cheese. Why do I love you, cheese? I thought he was green. I feel sad for him because I know he loves coming to the cooking lives. Okay, see that pan over there? See that film on the top? Th you can either use a piece of cheesecloth or fill some kind of thing that you can be able to take that, that out. That's, That's what good. you want to take out. Okay, so that's what Joe's going to do, but I wanted to show you guys. Okay, this is on medium heat. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your ears. I'm going to roll my tomatoes around. Onion, tomatoes, garlic is what I have in here right now, you guys. I'm just getting a flavor on my tomatoes. If anybody knows any of my salsa videos... My salsa videos, I get a, a pan with a little bit of oil, and I put my tomatoes, my chiles, my uh, garlic, and my onion in the pan to get toasted. 
I put it in my Ninja and it zaps it all and it's done. Okay. We are, thank you sugar. See that? Look at how clean it is now, you guys. You can at least see what's in that pot now. I would start putting the papas in. Okay. Daddy, thank you. Oh, you drain the water? Yes, please. Is this, is this, uh, it's enough? soapy water, yeah. I just washed my hands. Okay. Washing my hands. Mingled potatoes. Oh? Yeah, uh, make sure that there's no water in there. There's no is, water. Is there? Okay. Right, it's okay. I'm going to take some water out in a minute. Um, okay. Yeah, I need It'll to take some water for this. Oh, you're going to put more stuff in. Yep. Uh, you know, a coffee cup. Yeah. That chair, that thing is so loud. Welcome in, guys. Sorry we're not talking that much. Yep. Here, let me bring it back. Oh, I thought you were done. Nope. You want to do the rest? Yep. I can do it with this. Here. I'm just toasting my tomatoes. I'm not waiting for them to get done. I'm not trying to get them done. But I do want them to get... See that roast? That's roasting it a little bit. That's why I didn't want my pan super hot. See that? I'm just toasting my vegetables that are going to be... You'll see. You can just, uh, some people just put a pan right here and they'll boil these and then they'll emulsify it. I like another level of flavor. I started doing this and the flavors kick ass. My son has actually showed me a lot of stuff um, and he's, God, he's gotten such, I don't want to say too much because he's been blessed uh, by his, his employer recognizing his skill and his ability that they are blessing him by his offering him a different a different um, a different job um, I don't want to say a different position that's what I was looking for I was looking for that you know they offered him a different position or um, a better it's just a blessing you guys you tell me why you guys listen to my stupidness there was a word yesterday's live that I said, yeah, there's blah, blah, blah. Anybody who eats ranch in, in, the, in the case or something like that, who's in the case, I used the word case and I meant joint. I was talking about how many people like eating ranch. You guys, you know why I said the word case? Watch the video that I did last night and you'll see the word case. Like, what does she mean by case? And, I, and then I corrected it by saying, uh, all of my Midwesterners in the joint. But I first said all my Midwesterners in the case. Because, because the, the phrase casing a joint <laughs> was in my head. <laughs> so I said case. Uh, I'm a nut case. <laughs> You're a nut joint. Nut joint. I'm a nut joint. That's right. Um, you got the in? Okay, corn. Corn probably don't need to be in yet. The reason I haven't put these in yet, you guys, these are my quickest cooking ones. Corn probably can go in if I want it to, but my zucchini and cabbage will get done very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. Is Mama so awake? I'm gonna have to take some more out of there. We're gonna put all that in there. <laughs> Before we get too much yeah. flavor going on. Oh, we are gummies, just like the, what? Oh, the mama said that. Just like his father. Oh, Destiny. About the picture. Oh. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, gummies. Yeah, I remember how yeah, you used to eat them all? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna just grab. Oh, so let's move you guys over so you guys can see. Okay. So right now, like I said, some people just put a pot right here and they put their vegetables in it. That's pretty much what I'm doing now. What I did was add oil and I fried my vegetables a little bit to get it toasted. Now this is the part that is very similar to what people do on a separate pot. 
if you want to just not roast it and go straight to that you can i give you my recipe any part of it you can decide to go hey I'll, i'm happy just buying marinara sauce i don't need to make my marinara sauce that's all i try to give you guys literally what i do so when i go oh my god we're eating this you guys know what i did to make it today we had um <laughs> yeah, anybody can go buy it you gotta learn how to make it joseph yourself. leave them alone i'm just saying that's why you're doing it because you can just go buy it and then it's fine yeah but i mean to know how to make it it's i mean it just helps you out it does just Joe. in case you, you don't buy it and you do have all this stuff here and it's fun cooking i think it is too daddy it's fun. Where's my um I mean we we get packaged stuff too. Yeah, we def, we just bought we bought jalapeno we made jalapeno poppers. Yeah, we we made our uh uh our flatbread out of flatbread yep. from the store. Teaspoon of the door. Okay guys. I did a teaspoon of it. It's just adds flavor. There's no rhyme or reason why. But those are getting done. That's what you kind of like. Yeah, you can. Just put a teaspoon of it. I didn't tell him to get it, so I kind of tried oh, to avoid okay. anything that. Well, it's okay. You don't have to. Just okay. Get it. Get it, baby. We're going to use Berkey's tool because Berkey's the bomb. We love Burke. We love Berkey. If you want to add a partial. Uh, chicken or uh, beef broth in it or whatever you want to do you can do that part if you want to just use tomato sauce I will probably uh, I'm gonna see what the flavor tastes like I may add tomato sauce I'm not for sure usually this is enough tomato flavor like this these three romas canned tomato if you have canned tomato you would go straight into this okay you wouldn't even do this part but you do have to mulch them up so that in a ninja or a blender or something so that you're putting in there crushed tomatoes or broken down tomatoes i wonder if you could put a can of tomatoes in here oh you bet you could think so sure i don't think they roast like get toasted because mm -hmm. there's too much liquid yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know get in there I'm going to flip them over. Cut them up. Yeah. Want me to cut them up? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. onions, I usually do in quarters. It was really right. weird for them All to right. be let halved. Me, let me cut them. They're halved. All right. Let me uh, cut them up some more. I usually have them in like, I cut the onion in half and then halves. So they're qu quartered. Hello, Yvonne. <laughs> I forgot the word quartered. How about the, the tomatoes too, right? No. Nope. Oh, you can cut them in half. Mm. I'll quarter them. There you go. Try that. Try you guys. That on for size. Oh, he's gonna have a sous chef around, <laughs> or a saucier, whatever you want to call me. Oh my word! That's what cheese is. Don't try to take cheese as a word. <laughs> cheese is like I'm not quite a saucier or a sous chef. Cheese is like that's my name. I'm now. just a helper. Don't try to take my name. This is gonna go into there, and it's basically if you have tomato sauce and you want to skip that, you'll need to season it and flavor it. This is just more of the uh. Well, I don't want to say authentic way of seasoning it. Instead of doing a canned tomato sauce, you're doing stewed tomatoes that we're going to mulch up. That's what you're doing here. This is what this is. If you only have canned tomatoes and you only have tomato sauce, you can go right in there. This is still an option that you have now in your head. And if you want to use it, you can. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. But at least you have it now. You know what I mean? What if you didn't have it before? And all you knew was pour it in there. That's what I try to do, is give you guys options. Options are good. That's what life is all about. Uh -huh, I have an uh -huh. options. I'm gonna start putting these in. Okay. Because the corn takes about five, to 10 minutes. Yep. Corn in. <laughs> Zucchini in. 
Not many zucchini because Joe or I are not fans. Joe's a fan of the meat. Meat and potatoes. That's what Joe's a fan of. Meat, potatoes. And you pretty much have a vegetable soup out of the vegetables that you like. Does that make sense? If well, you don't, this is, this is kind of traditional. Yeah, I mean, it's but I'm saying if you if I w that's why I did the zucchini. I normally wouldn't do it if it's just me and Joe, but I wanted to show you guys the yeah, zucchini's but traditional. But if do what your family likes. If you guys, I probably wouldn't put celery if it was just me and Joe. I would put carrots, potatoes, and corn because that's what Joe and I both eat. You guys, if you guys like it with just potatoes and corn, then do potatoes and corn. The best part about cooking at home is that you get the things, your kids may not have liked it if it came from the restaurant. They might have put jalapenos in it. They might have put cilantro. They might have put things that your kids are going, yeah, no thanks, dad, no thanks, mom. When you make it at home, you get to put what you want. You get to tell them to try it and you get to have them actually taste the healthiness of the vegetables and eat the vegetables. The cabbage really gets soft and it looks very appealing. I'm gonna do the onions. I'm scared of that water. Yeah. Want me to do it? I didn't want to stick it in the ninja because I'm so nervous. I usually put it in the ninja, guys. This is the first time I'm doing it with the immersion, but I feel like I owe it to Berkey to use the immersion because I love the immersion. And we're not trying to get it smooth at all. We're just yeah. I, I just want to chunk it, guys. Kind of down. Yeah. No, Chino. No, you sure? I want you to grab those and put those in the Ninja. You don't have to. Why not? Because I can do them. Just like that. See? Just like that? You were dying Just to like do that. that. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? What do you want me to do about it? I think the girls go crazy. The more of these, the less you guys. You do. You guys, there was a video today. I was watching a video. It was of Marky Mark. If anybody's on TikTok, it's probably going around. But he's, hey, we got something. Who did us? Berkey, thank you, Mama. Mama, you don't even, you don't even eat the beef of it all. Thank you, Berkey. That is so nice of you, Berks. You guys, honestly, you guys, to, and I don't mean this in any, um, I don't mean this in a, I don't mean this in a disrespectful way. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. This is our gift to you guys because you guys, I mean, some some of you guys are gifted memberships. It, I This is our gift to you guys that you guys have a lesson in cooking, taking our time. Is there something you guys want to learn? So for me, I mean, not that I don't want you guys to tip us because we would love you guys to tip us. Not that I don't want you guys to super chat us or anything of anything. I do it. We do it on the members for you guys, literally so you guys get something out of us for what you guys contribute. Some of you guys, like I said, are gifted memberships, but others, some of you guys aren't. Some of, uh, some of, that, some of them are small enough, you need the onions smaller. Mm. Some I'm going to taste my, my breath real quick. Uh, but that's, that's how my feeling is. We appreciate anything you guys do, but we're very grateful that our members come in, that our members come and set aside $3, $4 a month. Some of you, some of my members actually set aside $5, $7, $10 to come to be a member. So I am blessed, blessed, blessed. Oh, <laughs> she said it's my late fee because I'm always late every month, every time she goes to a live. Okay. This is what it looks like. Joe zapped it up. It got like a chingo. I just don't want this to fall because it's full of oil. Okay. Berkey, this is what you've done. Okay, we're going to just get this. And it's got to be strong because it's going to go in there. Okay, guys? It's got to be strong because it's going to go in there flavor that. and flavor a whole pot. So that's why it may look a little dark, but it's not going to be in a minute. Um, I'm going to move it over, and you're going to lift and pour. All right. I want to see if I can get it. Hold on, hold on. I'm taking it off the sides. This is where I'm taking the stuff that was on the bottom off, you guys. All of the where I cooked the beef um, 
hot the meatballs the beef balls oh my god <laughs> stop it um i get you what was where's the thing that do you know oh it's right there i know you don't want to i want to i just want the onions to be i want the onions a little smaller okay the the garlic if you're not gonna emulsify it all the way make sure you take your garlic out guys Nobody wants to bite into a garlic thinking it's a potato. Okay? You have your whole garlics in there. What were you gonna say, baby? Nothing. You gonna pour it in? Do you want me to help you do something? No, you go do Can your you reach that? Ninja thing. The black. Uh, okay. Um There you go. It's thanks, baby. We'll pick that up later. Yeah. <laughs> That's warm. It's very warm, so we don't... Hold on. Uh, hold the phone. Uh, here we go. Done, Dad, done. All right. Very hot. All right, here we go. Ooh, que bueno. Is it heavy? It's fine. Stop. You sound like it's it's fine. You can't hurt steel. Oh my word, that toyita's about ready to catch on fire though. That's alright. Alright, we're good. It's yours. You paid for it. Put it in there. <laughs> you guys, if you wanna if you don't have a you emulsifier, have thing over there. stick it in here. What did oh sorry. Thank you. Stick it in your emulsifier, the ninja or whatever. Not a little chunky, but yes, not definitely. As, as we had it, which was. I just didn't want the garlic. That was my main reason. I didn't. Size. I was more worried about the people that were gonna our neighbor biting into a garlic. This is it. Just pour it in there. You can use crushed tomatoes, canned tomatoes. Either one work. You want to put the cabbage in, not the, yeah. not the zucchini. Not no more zucchini. I, the only thing I like zucchini for is zucchini bread. My mom used to make it all the time, and I love zucchini. Well, we had a garden. So the potatoes are done. The meatballs are done. Oh, we're just doing cabbage. Cabbage. Cabbage goes in. That's good. That's it good. does not go. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's only a little left. <laughs> and again, if we put about, here's the ball. I would say I did about a quarter of it, and I just did them bite size. See that? I did. I could have done them like my dad and my mom used to do like half sheets in there. <laughs> we thought it was cool. I know you guys probably think it's crazy, but we thought it was cool seeing a whole sheet of cabbage in ours. If you don't like cabbage, don't do it. I went through all that at the beginning. Whatever you don't like, omit. Whatever you do like, add more of. If you uh, like the mini carrots, buy those. We gotta taste some broth. Taste it. Well, that's pretty good. Salt? Anything? Nope. No salt? No. Nope. I think you're good. Good. What do you guys think? It looks like a vegetable soup. It is a vegetable soup. It just has fun meatballs that the kids will love. The meatballs, the kids are going to get full on. It has rice in it. The meatballs. That's the only reason that you don't put rice on the side with, like you do with um, caldo. Caldo de pollo y reyes has got um, a side dish of rice that we made with you guys. But there's rice in the meatballs. So you don't really, it, it gets you full from the rice in there, the meatballs in there. Okay, let's eat. I'm gonna simmer it for a sec. Yeah, simmer it for a little bit. Talk to you, would you like me to reduce it, Joe? Joe's yeah. always down for the reducing. That's white people's version of let's let it sit. We don't reduce. And Mexicans, we ready. When it's done, we ready. 
<laughs> well, in simmering it will reduce it some, but whatever. It's not always reducing. Joe, you reduce everything. It does reduce. Joe but wants you don't to call reduce. It reducing all the time. You call it simmer. We don't want to reduce. We want to eat yeah, it. You simmer it until it thickens. Well, it's reducing. <laughs> I love that bad. KCG, we love you. We love you down here. We love you up there. A neighbor, yeah. <laughs> we have neighbors. Well, we have a lot of neighbors, actually. Um, we have that guy's single, and that guy's not single, but oh, I don't know. It gives Joe free time, and he goes and hangs out with the boys, and I... I do my thing, um, I play with my babies, I talk to my girls on the phone, but there's about, they're actually, now that I think of it, they're all men. That one's got a girl. Yeah. That one's guys, guys, guys. No, the, the very end one now? Oh, it's two women. Two women. No. A mom and a daughter or something. Yeah, mom and a daughter, and then there's a family at the very end. I'm all by myself in a big old country town. Um, babe, I feel like it needs a little more salt, no? Go for it if you want more salt. Mm, what do you think? It's fine. I think the salt contents is fine. Okay. I think it's good. And then if you want to salt your bowl. Yeah. Then salt your damn All bowl. right, fine. It's good right now. All right, I'll leave it then. It's going to concentrate a little bit as it simmers. Yeah, for sure. And not reduces. Here we go, guys. Do it to your liking. Um, from here, you guys. If you want garlic powder, onion powder, I would add it because it doesn't have it up until now. Okay? And I'm going to put it about a half a teaspoon of cominos. Okay? If you don't want it, don't add it. It does add flavor. Again, cominos is strong. I don't want to say it's strong, but it's strong. There's no word to describe what it is. Cominos is strong, Joe. Yes, it is. It can be. The, the garlic powder and onion powder you put in your meatballs, you can put into your broth sure, if sure. your broth does not hit the that way you want it. Way. You know what I mean? If your broth does not hit, then you can do it. I just added a little bit more salt. Um, I just think you have to. Because I think I have to. Well, I want, when I want, when my neighbors eat the food, I want them to go, oh my God, this is the bomb. I don't want them to be like, oh my God, who cooked this? Uh, can you not receive food from them anymore? I want them to be like, that is the best soup I've ever had in my life. You ready to try it? Yeah. You ready to try it? Grab a bowl. Ideally, you make your um i would do three or four meatballs and Maybe one corn per person yeah that'd be great super great ready guys <laughs> benny i'm dying her her dog always watches us cook yeah yeah <laughs> two dollars a bowl why didn't i think of that shit bad that's what we need to do. Joe, go tell them, never mind, from what they thought they were going to have for dinner, they're going to have to pay us for dinner. There you go. Oh, I've got to check the, oh. I don't have to worry about getting the zucchini because we ain't getting none. I'll save those for our neighbors. We only have a few of the zucchinis. I mean, they just taste, there's nothing wrong with them. They just taste like zucchini. If you know, you know. They're just like, I like it. I make, Let me rephrase it. I do like zucchini. I eat it with my pork. I make it for you guys with pork. That's mine. I don't want a bunch of broth. I know Joe loves the broth. Don't you, babe? I love broth. Loves it. And the cabbage gets done very, very, very quickly, guys. Your mom's in there. Madre, ¿dónde está? And Joe loves meatballs. Loves them. 
He loves meat. Any kind of meat. I have pork, steak, anything. There's so many meatballs. I'm trying to go around them. Don't go around them. <laughs> you want corn too, right? Uh, yeah. Oh my God. You're going to have a whole bowl of meat. There you go. <laughs> you're, le you're happy? Yeah. There you go. I gotta put a carrot, a corn for you. Oh, you don't have no room. Just put it on top. There you go. You guys, stop it. Take a picture. I need to reuse it for my. I go through my after the live and I take the picture. Okay. These are what I like, the potatoes. All right, let's tink. You gotta, don't do it by any of the dividers. I try to make it be a solid background. All right, let's roll. All right. I'm sorry it took so long, you guys. It was a, a lengthy live. Oops, I saw it. Did close out the window. Let's tink. Hey guys. There's Joe. Howdy. Bye. Love you. So there we go. Wow, you're just going to eat the broth? Just the broth and uh, cabbage, carrots, and All right, celery. I'm going to do, do just broth too. Tink. Think. Huh? Think. Mm. That's good. That's really good. Grab some potato. The potato is so hot. Be careful. Be be very careful. You think I'm joking? Isn't that hot for you? Can't hurt steel, baby. I told you. Oh my word! I'm gonna do the meatball. Me too. Look at how big the meatball. Meet the ball. Ready? Let me show them the uh, inside of the meatball. Look at the meatball, guys. Cooked through. Didn't fall apart. There's rice in it. Uh, imagine there's green in it. Because that's what cilantro does. It adds a little green. All right, ready? Yes. Probably hot, too. Tink. Tink. I need one. Uh, soda. Sorry, go ahead, Joe. <laughs> oh. Hot. Is the meatball hot? Oh, hot. No. But it's good. Very good. Yum. Hey, T, how's it going, love? Okay, Tink. I love my broth. Mm. Oh. Hot. How does the meatball taste? Mm. Meatball taste very, very good. good. Yeah. It doesn't taste like a Mex. It doesn't taste like um, Italian meatball. No, it's not an Italian meatball. It's um, with the rice it has, in there. It gives it a little different texture. It has a note of like a, a Mexican meatball. Yeah, it really does. Mm. That's good, man. I think it's very good. And your cabbage. Your we put the cabbage last when everything else is done, so that way you know it's ready. Okay. So you put your potatoes in, because those are gonna take a long time. You put your carrots and your uh, celery in to give the broth flavor when your uh, meatballs are going in. Then you go to the next and you put your potatoes, um, your corn, the very last, and you put your zucchini, the very last you put your cabbage because it takes only about three to five minutes. If you make it with cilantro, even oh, the God. mint, it gives it that much more. Yes, yep. If you add the cilantro, it takes it over the top. It's so good. I just have, uh, I normally do it. I think, I can't say I wish he would have tried it <coughs> because I'm sure he loves it. I mean, there's some people that can't eat it because it tastes metallic to them. But he just said he, he's allergic to it. I think he's allergic to leaf. 
leaf, like spinach. There's like other ones. I hope the green leaf and the cabbage. No, I'm just kidding. Mmm. That's very good. Let's get out of here. That's good. One hour exactly, you guys. I'm sorry we kept you so long. That's so good. I like it. Mm. It's so, like, comfort, what a beautiful, yeah. comfort food, comfort food, comfort food. It takes away from all the other stuff. It's just it's a unique, different enough. It's a, yeah. unique, it's a unique soup. Yeah. Be blessed, guys. Be safe out there on the streets. Again, I love you all. Hit the like on the way out. I would appreciate that. Again, Berkey, thank you for blessing us tonight. Everybody else, thank you for coming in and blessing us with you guys being in here. Tomorrow we are doing our final flatbread.